Hello YouTube, flashlight enthusiast here. Today I'd like to present to you maybe the not newest but pretty interesting flashlight from the Lumintop, their pocket thrower, the FW21X9L, in short X9L. This is the single SBT90 LED pocket thrower powered by 21700 cell. So let's wait no further, let's show you the packaging, uh, plain cardboard box as always from the Lumintop pretty standard uh, and now this slides out and we've got plain cover box with just the lumen top logo here and when we open this up we've got uh, information leaflet to insert the battery from the head side this is quite important not to loosen the electrical contact uh, via the switch here so bear this in mind we also got the pretty vast manual I encourage you to read this one before you operate one or just simply uh, use my tutorial of Unreal One. You can check this video right here in the top right corner and uh, voila, this is our quite compact Lumentop X9L as you can see here. Okay, we've got some protective film here on the lens. Just remove this one for your own sake. Okay, and apart from that, we also have the rubber tactical ring that we can put here so that we can use this one uh, tactical style, you know, the cigar grip style. Uh, and apart from that, in the packaging, we can also find the 21700 to 18650 standard battery adapter that is hidden here. Okay, so. Uh, as I unscrew the flashlight already, look at the threads here, uh, they are unanodized, so bear this in mind that lockout on this flashlight is close to impossible in case of mechanical lockout. These are well greased, definitely, a well made uh, square threads. Okay, we've got one single o-ring here to protect this from water intrusion. So slight, uh, slight immersion heavy rain is not a problem for this flashlight, but please don't dive with this one and especially do not press the switch under the water, okay? Uh, we've got double tube design to uh, enable the connection between the electronic switch here on the tail and the driver that is located here. We've got a pretty standard linear driver with 7 plus 1 plus FET configuration, so nothing crazy here, uh, around 1000 lumen can be sustained fully, but the rest is just fat driver, so bear this in mind. Okay, nice gold plated thick spring to enable this heavy current going through the SBT90 LED. And the same goes here, down the tube. Pretty good thick spring down there. So overall the quality is excellent. Uh, you can use either 21700 cell or 18650. Remember to use the quality cell. I use the Samsung 40T for the 21700 and for 18650 I use the genuine Sony VT6. So yeah, I highly recommend both of these cells. So let's fire up this baby, shall we? Okay, we've got one blink to indicate the electrical contact here. Okay, let's put this aside. And show you the operation, okay? So here we've got the Lumintop logo, the X9L model and the serial number here. But apart from that, uh, we've also got the Lumintop logo on the button here. This is the single button operation under really Y. Nice pocket clip. Pretty sturdy. As I already mentioned, you can also use this in cigar grip, but even without this adapter rubber ring, uh, you can still use it in cigar grip or backhand grip without any problems. Okay, the head is pretty massive and look at those cooling fins. Oh my gosh. This thing definitely needs them a lot. Okay, the fill and finish is excellent. The polish, the surface, uh, is quite slippery, but on the other hand, we've got some knurling here and here, so overall grip is very good in my opinion. And uh, let me show you the LED here, all right. So we've got some purplish anti-reflective coating on the lens. This is glass, so good job here. Smooth reflector, quite deep and well-polished. 
and down there we've got a single SBT90 LED beautifully centered overall finish is excellent I'm pretty content with this one no dust in the reflector whatsoever everything is smooth excellent job lobbing top here okay so let's just go through the UI real quick this one uses the Unreal UI, so pretty standard uh, user interface nowadays, uh, but unless you don't know it, you uh, can check the tutorial right here. Uh, but basic operation is just uh, very simple, one click for on, one click for off, and then uh, you can press from off to access the lowest mode, then click again to turn off. Then when the flashlight is on, you can hold the switch to increase and then decrease the brightness. As you can see, we've got uh, Step dropping here, but triple click from on will toggle between smooth ramp and step ramp. One, two, three. Again, set steps. Okay, and from on or off, you can double tap for the amazing turbo mode, then one click for off. And that's basically it. You can also check the voltage by triple clicking from off. One, two, three, and count one, two, three. 4, pause, and short blink means 4.0, so 4 volts out of 4.2, which is maximum, so pretty sufficient battery uh, still in this Lumentop X9L. Okay guys, in terms of measured lumens, let me show you what I've got here. You can pause the video if you would like to see more. Bear in mind that this kind of single SBT90 pocket thrower is definitely a pocket hot rod also and the performance is uh, and the performance may vary depending on the cell the internal temperature and overall the environment that you're using this flashlight in okay so bearing this in mind let's look at the runtime graphs real quick shall we all right so looking at the turbo runtime graph here testing uh, on the samsung 40t battery uh, I measured 5,650 lumens in startup, and then as you can see, after roughly 10 seconds, the, the output started to step down gradually over the course of 20 seconds to around 845 lumen level, and then the brightness started to fluctuate. Unfortunately, the shitty driver of FAT Plus X uh, does not sustain the, the good output, you know, for, for the first couple of minutes, but rather fluctuates uh, trying to stabilize the internal temperature. Uh, at least sensing some thermal problem here, but uh, it is usual behavior unfortunately with the with shitty drivers So uh, as you can see after the stabilization of output it could sustain around 1000 lumen level Which is where the current hits the 7135 chip and then the body temperature did not achieve more than 56 degrees Bearing in mind that I set the thermal limit for 70 degrees Celsius All right and for comparison here I've got the same output but for the Samsung 30T as you can see here around 200 lumen more but the behavior is similar and the regulated output is the same same as the temperature so nothing really changes much here and if you're wondering what happened where you used the 18650 battery the 50C6 for example here the maximum output was measured by only 4360 lumens so definitely you can see the difference with your naked eyes probably if you compare this side by side uh, but as you can see the regulated output increased to 1150 lumens so around 150 lumen increase but the body temperature stayed the same surprisingly all right and here we also got the maximum regulated modes around 1000 lumens as you can see here the regulated chips of 7135 uh, actually do their job and the output is nice and constant okay so this is something i'd like to see in more modes but um, you know if you like the peak performance unfortunately you cannot avoid the fat driver but the fat plus uh, bug boost converter would be perfect really Okay, in terms of size, this one is really compact. Uh, for comparison, here is the Noctigon KR1, okay, 18650 battery. And uh, here we've got the 
MSRD for SV2, 26650 battery. Uh, so I will compare this free in the train. Uh, here I use the four Osram W2 configuration. So around 5000 lumens. Here is the single XPL high 2850 Kelvin. So warm white LED. And here is the single SBT90 LED. Okay. All right, so first the KR1 and 2850 K, uh, pretty good output for a single 18650 battery, a nice throw to it and warm white tint have to penetrate the foggy environment that uh, cannot be seen here today, but overall a standard 1000 lumen output. Now the D4S V2 in Osram W2 emitter around 5000 lumens, so pretty good for all over 600 meters, mind you. Uh, easily going to the trees down there, and overall nice focused hotspot with some spill to it. So overall a good universal beam pattern for a pocket thrower, uh, excellent choice, and definitely holding up the brightness quite nicely, uh, especially in the lower temperatures like today. So very nice. And now the main dish, the Lumentop X9L, max ramp and now the turbo output. Notice the difference between the D4SV2 and Osram emitters and the single SBT9 LED. Oh my gosh, this one hits the trees easily, really over 800 meters of reach. Uh, but unfortunately, uh, as to expect it, even on the low temperature as it today, the step down occurs really soon. Uh, that's not the case with the D4SV2, but uh, luckily you can always double tap and reset the output like I did just yet. So uh, it is not limited by the number of resets but rather the internal temperature which I set to 70 degrees Celsius but mind you the spill it is still bright and the hotspot is just penetrating the brightness nicely and stepping now again unfortunately we cannot avoid it with this thermal mass and sheer power of SBT90 LED almost 6000 lumens mind you in such a compact little valley and BAM once again all right guys let's sum it up overall amazing flashlight in terms of output for the size ratio obviously this is on the true mode only lasts a couple of seconds but still having such a power in your this compact pocketable design is amazing in my opinion and uh, the fact that they did this in 21700 cell format uh, is even more spectacular okay guys uh you can buy this flashlight on the Neil's gadgets. Neil kindly provided the coupon code for our channel. So if you're interested in this one, you can check the coupon code and the link down uh, under this video. And uh, guys, definitely recommending this one to you. Amazing performance, good quality. Uh, obviously, I wish the driver was a little bit better, you know, but uh, well, it is as it is. Uh, definitely, this is not the flashlight for sustainable output, but rather for momentary crazy illumination uh, over 800 meters of row from this one is definitely amazing so guys uh, if you enjoyed the video please kill, click the like button kill, click the subscribe button for more videos to come as always guys thank you so much for watching and we will see you in the next one